Hello, folks. This is Ed. Today, I have the Steam Deck V Emulation tutorial. The V Emulation performs extremely well on the deck. Most V games can be played at three times native resolution at a minimal 30 FPS. But just keep in mind that we can only play V games that support a classic controller or GameCube controller. Here is a Wikipedia page that we can use to check for the controller support. The website is linked under my video description. This is a complete guide for running V games on the Steam Deck, and I have broken it into several chapters as shown on the screen, so you can skip to any chapters that are beneficial for you. By the way, I have made a series of similar emulation tutorials for PS3, PS2, Xbox 360, Nintendo Switch, 3DS, and VU on my channel. If you are interested in any of them, please check out my channel. Let's jump into the V emulation now. The Emu Deck installation is pretty easy. I will quickly explain the installation process here. I will only cover the emulation tutorial in this video. First, we need to switch to desktop mode on the Steam Deck. From desktop mode, use your Firefox internet browser and go to Emu Deck official website. I have the Emu Deck linked in my video description. From this website, we can directly download the Emu Deck installation file. Once it is downloaded, we can click Show in Folder. We need to copy the Emu Deck installation file onto our desktop in order to process this installation. And this is mandatory. Then we can double click on the Emu Deck installer from the desktop. Click Continue on this pop up window to confirm this installation. Let's select the custom mode here which will give us more option to set up the Emu Deck. Then click Continue. I highly recommend to use SD card for your emulation games. Even with E1 type SD card, it works perfect with Emu Decks. So we will pick SD card as storage here. On this page, obviously, we need to select Steam Deck. On this screen, it shows all emulators that are currently supported by Emu Deck. I will disable all the emulators except for the V emulator which is called Dolphin. Also I would like to point out that if you already have emulators installed on your Steam Deck, you should uncheck them on this page, otherwise this installation will overwrite your existing emulators. You can always come back to this page and install any emulators that you like later on. Then click continue. On this page, make sure you turn off the emulators that you have already installed on your Steam Deck. If you forgot doing this, the Emu Deck will overwrite your existing emulate settings. So please keep this in mind. I will only leave the Dolphin emulator on here. Then we can click on continue and move to the next page. On the next couple pages, you can pick any options you like. It's all about your personal tastes for the emulation game. You can pick any emulation station theme here. I personally like the RB simple style. Then click next. On this page, I don't want to install any homebrew, so I will just select no here. Then just click next. This is the new page that Emu Deck just added. And I think this is really helpful. This page will basically tell us what will be installed and what will be configured on our Steam Deck by this installation. So please make sure you check everything here before you click on the finish button. It is very critical to check here to make sure any of your existing emulators are excluded under the first two columns. If you forget to exclude them, this installation will overwrite your existing emulator setting and configurations. After you make sure everything is correct on this page, then just click the finish button to process the installation. The Emu Deck now start processing all the installation. It will take about 2 minutes to complete everything here. After everything's done, we can click Exit. Now we have completed the Emu Deck installation on the Steam Deck. The original Emu Deck installer is now changed to Emu Deck Access icon on the desktop. That's all for the Emu Deck installation. Before we begin this part, just keep in mind that the Steam Deck SD card cannot be read on a Windows PC or a Mac. You can either download the games from your PC and then copy them into the Steam Deck, as I usually do, 
or you can use your Steam Deck to download the games directly. So I used this 5TB external hard drive to transfer all my game ROMs from my PC to my Steam Deck. I have had this hard drive for almost 5 years and it has never failed me. So I am just enjoying using it. Let's plug the external hard drive into the Steam Deck. As you can see here, I have those 5V game ROMs on this hard drive. Three of them are in WBFS format and two are in NKIT. The NKIT ROMs are compressed ISO format, which takes less space on your micro SD card, but also less stable. I personally prefer the WBFS format. What we need to do here is simply copy those five ROMs from here and paste them onto the Steam Deck's SD card. Please make sure the game ROMs are pasted into the correct folder locations on your Steam Deck SD card as shown on my screen. Just double check and make sure your game ROMs are pasted into this folder on your SD card. If it is not in this location, the game will not able to show up in the email deck. After the copying process is complete, we can close this window and unplug the hard drive. The next step we need to do is to bring the Wii games into the Steam OS gaming mode interface. So every time we boot up the Steam Deck, Wii games will show up in our Steam OS library. To do this, we need to click the Emu Deck icon on the desktop and then click To and Stuff. From here, we need to select Steam Room Manager. Click Yes for this pop up window. First, disable the parsers, otherwise the email deck will scan all the game rooms. I recommend only enable the emulators that you are going to use, and disable the rest of them. Since we only deal with the V emulation in this video, I will only enable Nintendo V Dolphin here. Then we can click Save button on the bottom left side. Then we need to click on the Preview button from the top left corner. Then click Generate App List from the bottom of the screen. We can now see all the Wii games that I just copied show up here. Also, we can change the game album picture from here. But for now, we can just click Save App List button. This will create the game title on our Steam OS interface. Now we can just close Emu Deck and return to the Steam Deck gaming mode. After we get into the Steam Deck gaming mode, just go to the library. We will see there are two new tabs show up. One is called Collection. Under this tab, it will classify emulation games by the emulation system. The other tab is called No Steam Game. Under this tab, you will see all the emulation games that have been installed on the Steam Deck. Now let's start the last story game from here. This game is still an exclusive title on V. The best feature of the Emu Deck, in my opinion, is that it allows us to access all the emulation games from Steam OS interface directly. This is just so convenient. This is all for adding V games into the Steam Deck. There are a couple of settings we can tweak around to make the V games look better on the Steam Deck. First, let's go to the Start menu. Then go to the application and open the Dolphin emulator from here. Then go to the option menu from the top and select graphics settings. Next, click enhancement. Under here, we should change the internal resolution to 3 times native, which is 1080p. This is a game changer for the Wii game on the Steam Deck. Even with 3 times resolution, most of the game will run at 30 FPS. Then move down and check the widescreen hack box. This will make the game image fill up the whole screen, and it looks way better than the stretched 16 by 9 screen ratio. I will demonstrate this later on in this section. That's all the change we need to do in the emulator. We just changed the emulator's default resolution to 3 times native, but we can also quickly change the game resolution during gameplay. By simply pressing the start button first, then pressing the up or down button on the D-pad. This is pretty useful if you have any game that is running slow at 3 times resolution, so you can just swipe to 1 times resolution or 2 times to speed up the game. We can also quickly tangle between the different screen ratio by holding down the start button first, then pressing the right button on the D-pad. 
we have 4x3, 16x9, and a stretched screen ratio. I personally like the stretched screen ratio, since it fills up the whole screen, and the image is slightly stretched. I am good with that. First, I would like to talk about the controller profile. Emu Deck has pre-installed several controller profiles on your deck. You can swipe between them by pressing the select button, then pressing the left or right on the left joystick. Each V game will accept a different control profile. Most game control can be handled by those built-in profiles, but some games that require full V motion controls, such as V Sports, were not able to fully playable on the Steam Deck. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, try to focus on the games that have classic controller or GameCube controller support. Here is a list of the game that supports the classic controller and GameCube. So please check out this wiki page first before you're planning to play V games on the Steam Deck. Next, I will show all the hotkeys that we can use during the gameplay. Each hotkey will display for 10 seconds, then move to the next one. The V system menu is not necessary to play V game with the Steam Deck, and I do not quite suggest using V system menu with the Steam Deck because we can only access this from desktop mode. But anyway, I will show how to bring up the V system menu on the Steam Deck. So first, launch your Dolphin emulator from desktop mode. Then from the top menu, go to Tools and select Perform Online System Update. Then pick your region. I will use United States here. Make sure your deck is connected with the internet. Then click yes to process this update. This process will download the V system menu onto your Steam Deck, and it will take about 2-3 to three minutes. Once the update is finished, we can click OK. Then go to Tools from the top menu again, and select Load V system menu 4.3U. Now we will boot into the V system menu. If your controller is not working on this page, make sure you hold down the select and start buttons together for 3 seconds. This will switch the controller profile. Now you will be able to process by pressing button A. Here you go, we are at the V system menu now. As I mentioned at the beginning, this part is not necessary for playing V games on the Steam Deck, so I'm not gonna go into any more details here. If you have already done this before, you can skip to step 2. Press the Steam button and go to Power. Then select Switch to Desktop mode. We are now at Desktop mode of Steam Deck. Click the Start menu. Under System, click Console. After the console is open, type PASSWD. Then hit the Enter button on your keyboard. Now you are required to set up a password. Make sure you remember this password. It will not show anything even when you are typing your password here. Just please remember it for the future use. Just hit the Enter button on your keyboard after you type in your password. Retype your password again and then hit the enter button. It should see password updates successfully. Now we can close this window. Step 2. Enable the gyro controls for emulators. First, we need to open Emule Deck on your desktop, and then open Tools and Stuff. Select Gyro DSU. Enter your sudo password, and click Install Gyro DSU. The Steam Deck Gyro DSU is now installed on your Steam Deck. We can now reboot our Steam Deck to have the gyro control working properly. That's everything for V Emulation Guide. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. As always, thanks for watching.